I mean, for those of us with dinner plans, what can we expect? I would say keep the umbrella on standby. We saw the students there at Georgia Southern today. The umbrellas were open and that will still be needed this evening. We're dealing with these fairly persistent showers, especially coastal areas through about I-95 and up into the low country. If you're well inland, there's been a lot less rain today in some locations. Montgomery Tombs down to Jeff Davis County. There's been little to no rain, but it's really these coastal communities that continue to get the waves of rain out there and they're spreading a little bit inland over the Richmond Hill area towards Rabbit Hill. Heavy downpour there right along Ford Way leading into Richmond Hill, a steady pocket of rain that goes to the north along I-95 and will continue to deal with the showers on and off this evening and potentially wrapping up around midnight or so. Outside our weather window, turbulent waters out there in the near shore area, high end risk of rip currents today. And we also have a coastal flood advisory. High tide is coming up this evening at 820. The forecast height of the tide, 10 feet. And if it would hit 10 feet, that would tie for the 20th highest tide ever at Fort Pulaski. So anywhere in this green shaded area, watch out for coastal flooding between about 6 and 10 p.m. this evening. If you're staying on land and headed to some area high school football games, let's talk about that forecast. Kickoff at 730. Bring an umbrella or a poncho. Temps in the 70s. Still some showers out there. We don't have any lightning right now. There's still a low end threat of thunderstorms, so we'll watch that threat as we go into the evening. Just some spotty showers by the fourth quarter. You can track our forecasts on the go in the free WJCL 22 News app, the interactive radar, the hour by hour forecast, and of course the weekend. It's all there. Let's get a check.